Hey guys, we're back for another thing of read science. Um, today we're going to talk about something still a little bit gross, but hopefully cool, and that is eating insects. Let's talk about eating bugs. What's neat to know is that insects are already a staple in a lot of different international cuisines. Um, they are, contain a lot of protein, which is really good for nutrition purposes, and you can raise a lot of them in a small amount of space. But before I go you know, raving about the uh, benefits of eating insects. I've already had them once in West Africa, but I'm gonna try them again um, here to tell you guys just, in fact, if they are actually okay to eat. So let's go. So I'm going to this place called The Playground. It's a Thai restaurant in Queens. Uh, hopefully their bugs are good, we'll see. So along with some noodles, I ordered a whole plate of fried silkworms, oh boy. So I ate the whole plate of silkworms, it was a lot of food. Um, next time I will order the very, very mild spicy sauce for the, uh, the, bamboo, uh, the bamboo noodle salad, because that was really spicy, but the bugs weren't bad. Uh, so I would, I would eat them again, maybe not a whole plate, um, but that was pretty good. So. We've got problems on Earth, and one of them is the global population. Now, depending on what estimations you look at, currently in July of 2015, we have 7.2 to 7.3 billion people on this planet. Now, that's a lot, and it's still growing. By 2050, some projections are saying we'll have 10 to 11 billion people on this planet, which is a lot, and with that number of people comes a lot of different problems, one of which is feeding them all. So food security is a really big issue, not just getting enough food for everyone, but getting enough nutritious food for everybody in the entire planet. As more and more food security discussions arise, more scientists have been talking about bugs as a food source. Now, the process of eating bugs is called entomophagy, and some cultures practice it already. In fact, the UN has been encouraging the practice of eating bugs more and more as we come into more and more food problems around the world. Now, scientists are still looking into the nutritional values, like what are the best insects to eat? Which ones are the best ones to farm? How can we most effectively use these as a food source? Orthoptera, the order that includes grasshoppers and crickets, is one of the ones kind of at the forefront of this movement. Also, insects are everywhere. They're very easy to raise, and um, we can find them in all corners of the earth. In fact, some um, private companies, such as um, SpaceX are looking to towards insects as a good food source or insects farming as a good source when we get up to Mars. Now I know you're saying, ew, gross, that's totally not for me, and it is. It's difficult for us in Western cultures to accept the idea that eating insects is okay or will be delicious. Um, but in fact, more and more high-end restaurants and fancy places are taking the idea that insects might be a good thing to eat. Um, in fact, there was a cookbook published just recently about all these fancy types of recipes you can make um, with insects, and we're going to look at a few of those now. In fact, there's even fancy restaurants here um, in New York City that uh, serve insects and parts of insects on the menu. So if you're interested, you can take a look at the Eat a Bug cookbook for the recipe for the 3B salad, or maybe you're more of a dessert person, you want the uh, little crunch factor on your ice cream. Um, you can also look at the white chocolate mealworm cookies, those look pretty good. If you're more of a fried foods person, you can do the deep fried tarantula. Now the instructions for serving are use a sharp knife to cut each spider in two lengthwise. Sprinkle with paprika and serve. Encourage your guests to try the legs first and if still hungry to nibble on the meat-filled mesothorax, avoiding the spider's paired fangs which are tucked away in the head region. The next time you have a chance to maybe eat a bug or two, you know, make sure it's prepared correctly and you're not just eating it off the ground, um, go ahead and try it. It might be something cool.